Hi class, welcome to a doozy of a problem. This one really gets you thinking. There is a very, very simple way about completing this one, and there's also a more difficult way that I want to show you as well. The reason why I want to show you the difficult way is so that you could see algebraically how to solve this problem. But I'm first going to solve it the easy way, so that if you want to, you could stop the video and not even watch the hard part of it, because I guess you really don't have to, unless you're kind of curious on how you would solve this using systems of equations. For this Excel math objective, every single one of them, you could set up two equations, and then you could solve by using substitution or, or elimination. So I want to show you using that skill, but first I'm going to show you probably the easier way that you can go about doing this that doesn't involve substitution and elimination. It's more of just guess and check, which like I said is just fine with me. If you want to solve it that way, I have no problem with that. So the blue sentence, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. So class, there are, I guess, the, hmm, I was going to say there's about 99 two-digit numbers, but I guess there would be 89 because 1 through 9 aren't two digits, they're just one digit. So your options of an infinite number of numbers just got condensed down to 89 numbers to choose from because ha it has to be a two-digit number. And then it says that this two-digit number has a sum. Let's see. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. So now, class, you're down to very, very few options, okay? Such as the lowest one is 29. That is a two-digit number where if you add up these two digits, you get 11. The next one is 38. There's another two-digit number, and it equals 11. And then we're going to keep on going. 47. That equals 11. Another two-digit number is 56. And then it's, keep on going up, it's going to be 65. Basically just these numbers reversed, 74, 83, and 92. So those are the only two-digit numbers that we have whose sum is 11. I hope that makes sense. So that's what we have, first of all. All right. The next question. If their digits are reversed, the new number is 9 more than the original. So take a look at these two. 29. If these digits are reversed, we get 92. So those are two of the ones that we just stated. So now I ask you this question. It says, if their digits are reversed, the new number is 9 more than the original. 29 is the original. 92 is the new number. And it says, the new number is 9 more than the original. Here's the new. Here's the original. Is 92 9 more than 29? Obviously not. It is quite a bit more. So we know that 29 and 92 are not the right, is not the right answer. So let's try another pair. If their digits are reversed, the new number is 9 more than the original. So the original is 38. If those digits are reversed, we now get 83. Is the new number 9 more than the original? Absolutely not. So we know it's not this one. Keep on going, 47 and 74. As you can see, this difference is also not 9. So it's not this one. So is it 56 and 65? It has to be, really, because it's our last possibility. But let's just make sure. Let's go back up to this statement. The new number, 65, is 9 more than the original, 56. Is 65 9 more than the original 56? Yes, you found your pair. Find the original number. This can be kind of tricky in accelerated math because they give you both of these options under those A, B, C, D options. So you have to find the original number. The original number is the one that was not reversed. It's our 56. So this is the answer that you're going to want for Excel math, 56. So that would be the easy way 
about going about doing this. If you want to stop the video and move on to the next one, that is just fine. If you want to know how to set this up using a system of equations, it is kind of interesting. Um, I invite you to keep on watching. It would only improve your math skills, in my opinion, so it would be a good idea to watch, but I'm not forcing you to watch if you do not want to. Okay, so here's how you solve this one using a system of equations. It says the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. So let's just write down, first of all, that two digits, we'll call them x and y. Okay? When we add up those two digits, it gives us 11. So two digits, x and y, that equals 11. Now, if the digits are reversed, now let's think about this sec for a second class. In our um, standard based system, we come from a base 10 system. What that means is that we have a ones place, a tens place, a hundreds place, a thousands place. Each one of these, I'm just adding a zero. It's a base 10 system. So how would I write a two-digit number? A two-digit number has a ones place and a tens place, such as, oh, we'll just use 84. 84 has a ones place of four and a tens place of eight. So if I were to write this using my x's and my y's, okay, if I were to write this, I would say that eight multiplied by my tens place plus my ones place gives us my value. So 84 is the exact same thing as 8 times 10 plus my ones place. You can do that with any two-digit number. 36 is 3 times my tens place plus my ones place. So then we would get 36. You can do that with any two-digit number. We'll just prove it using one more. It doesn't matter which one we use. We'll use 76. It is 7 multiplied by my tens place plus my ones place. So 7 times 10 is 70 plus 6, obviously, 76. So knowing that, if I were to write an equation for my original number, Okay, now follow me here. If we were to write an equation for my original number, we're saying that a two-digit number, when I add up those two digits, I get 11. So x, y, that's my two-digit number. Just like 84 was my two-digit number, or just like 36 was my two-digit number. What did I do? I took 10 times the tens place, and I added the ones place. 10 times the tens place, plus the ones place. So it's going to be 10 multiplied by the tens place, which is x, plus the ones place. 10 times x plus y. This is my original number. Now it says if their digits are reversed. So if their digits are reversed, such as 36, their digits are reversed, now it's 63. But even so, they're reversed, isn't it still 10 times 6 plus 3? It's still 10 times the first one plus the second one. So if their digits are reversed, it is now 10 multiplied by my y variable plus my x variable. 10 times, like let's just say 84 right here. If it's reversed, it's now 10 times my y variable of 4 plus my x variable of 8. Now class, this stuff over here has nothing to do with the problem with the numbers. I'm just showing you using examples. So this over here is my reverse number. Here's my original, here's my reversed. 10 times y plus x, or 10y plus x. All right, we're getting there. 
So now my second sentence says this. If their digits are reversed, the new number, the new number is nine more than the original. Here's the original. So the new number, which is the same thing as our reversed. The new number is, so the new number, 10y plus x, the new number is means equals, 9 more means 9 plus than the original number. The original number, 10x plus y. There you have it, class. You now have your systems of equations. I should have written this a little bit smaller. I'm going to try something here really quick. This might turn out terrible, or it might turn out just awesome. Where can I move this? Hmm. Well, <laughs> my awesomeness didn't turn out too awesome, did it? There's a good spot. So there it is. So now, class, here's our system of equations. And we're going to solve for both x and for y. We can use substitution or we can use elimination. What I would suggest is let's simplify this one. It looks kind of yucky right now. Let's get all the x's and all the y's over onto this side. So that would mean I would subtract 10x and subtract a y, subtract 10x, subtract a y. So now we usually have our x's first, so we'll do that. We have a negative 9x, and we have a positive 9y. That equals, now these are gone, that equals 9. And now, I like to use substitution sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x by subtracting a y. So now this equation becomes x equals 11 minus y. So I'm going to substitute that in for the x right there. So it's going to be a negative 9 multiplied by my x, which my x is 11 minus y, plus 9y, that equals 9. So now, in this way, we are going to solve for y. Let's distribute a negative 99 plus 9y plus 9y equals 9. Moving forward, here's our original and our reversed again, if you want to see that. Let's just get it out of our way by putting it back up top now. Ah, rats. This is not going well, is it? Stink. <laughs> oh, this is going so bad. I'm sorry, class. Let's just erase some of this. You know what the new and the original are. You've written it down, right? Boy, this looks terrible. Okay, something like that. Ign ignore the red. So now, let's solve for y. So we have 99 plus 18y, that equals 9. This should be a negative 99. There we are. Now if we add 99, we're going to get 18y equals 108. And then when we divide both sides by 18, we get an answer of y equals 6. 108 divided by 18, y equals 6. All right, if you know that y equals 6, what does x equal? Well, we know that x plus y equals 11. x plus y equals 11. And y is 6. So x plus 6 equals 11. And so x would then equal 5. 
So if x is 5 and y is 6, it says find the original number. Now I already erased it from my whole mishap up top, but my original number, wasn't it something that looks like this? 10 times the tens place plus my ones place, 10x plus y. So my answer, 10 times x, which x is 5, plus y, which y is 6. 10 times 5 is 50, 50 plus 6 is 56. So the way the first two minutes of the video started off was just by basically using a little bit of guess and check. The second way was actually setting up a system of equations and solving. Either way is fine with me. I think that the second way is definitely interesting, but it does take more work.